I hope the book helps people see the world around them a little bit differently. And I want this book to connect with people who might have never heard me on the radio, might have no idea who I am, and hopefully give them some larger answers to the question, how do you stay optimistic in the face of all of the difficult things that are happening around us every day? Mercury Pictures presents my newest novel is set in Los Angeles in the 30s and 40s. And it's just a remarkably interesting historical era to set a work of fiction. Frank Lloyd Wright once said that if you tip the world on its side, all the loose pieces will land in LA. And this was the, certainly the case during that period when you had thousands and thousands of refugees and emigres leaving Europe and coming to LA. And as a writer, one of the great joys is researching the period you're writing about, becoming an amateur expert on a particular era for a couple of years is, to me, one of the main reasons that I do it. Really, that wasn't my role. My role was to bear witness to what she was going through in order to hopefully bring public awareness to her plight. It's more like uh, I live the way everyone else lives. Things annoy me the way things annoy everybody else. But then when I sit down to write something, I. I draw on whatever it was that happened and look for, well, how could that be made funny? What could be funny about it? And I, I generally find that people are most, they find it most funny when you not so much say something weird or unexpected as when you say something that they think is absolutely true. Like, that is right. That's how kind of I feel about it. But at the, at the moment, you don't think of it or you don't say it. Yeah. I think we've, we've reached a critical tipping point, And I think that communities are now starting to understand as they see empty classrooms, as they see um, that their kids have a long-term sub for the whole year and teachers are doing double duty and they're being put in auditoriums because they have to get a bunch of classes and put them in the same place because they just don't have the teacher coverage. I think parents and community members are, are now going to rise up and support teachers. Now you attended Walt Whitman and you sub at Walt Whitman. How's that school rank with all these schools? Uh, I think Whitman's great. I think I'm biased. Go Vikings. But Whitman's, Whitman's a good place to be.